you all for coming out tonight on such an ugly night to this press conference. Uh, wanted to just touch base with you and just for reference, um, the photos are the two suspects who were arrested today, but I can email them to you, okay, because the color, my printer takes up a lot of color ink, so I'd rather email them than send them out to you, okay? Um, anyway, tonight, I'm Sheriff Keith Kellerman, Perry County Sheriff. To my left is uh, Chief John Griffin, Pinewood Police Department. To my right is Sheriff Mike Hosher, Randolph County Sheriff's Department, and Chief Mike Ward, DuCoin Police Department. I've invited them here because uh, members of their agencies have uh, worked with us in the last two years to uh, get to where we are today. Okay, So we'll briefly just touch base. Today at 1 p.m., the Perry County Task Force arrested Dakota Wall, age 20, of Pinckneyville. I'll uh, briefly touch on Dakota's charges. Every charge I have, I'm going to announce is accountability. Okay. Count one, first degree murder. Count two, aggravated kidnapping. Count three and four, home invasion. Count five, residential burglary. Count six, kidnapping. Again, those are all accountability charges. And I'll touch base on what accountability stands for here in a minute. Um, at 2.45 p.m. today, the Perry County Task Force arrested Chad Bennett, age 22, Pinckneyville. Chad was charged again. His are all accountability. Count one, first degree murder. Count two, aggravated kidnapping. Count three and four, home invasion. Count five, residential burglary count six, kidnapping, and count seven, concealment of the homicidal death. Again, all his charges are accountability. Both subjects are incarcerated in the Perry County Jail at this time. Bond's been set in a half a million dollars, meaning both subjects have to post $50,000 cash to get out of jail. Um, accountability means that basically they aided, abated, agreed or attempted to aid in the planning and the commission of the murder of Sidney Stevens back in July of 2010. Um, again, their bond's been set at a half a million. They both have charges. Their arraignment could be as early as Tuesday or Wednesday because Monday is a holiday for the county government. This has been, again, an ongoing case for some two years and two months now, as you all know. And um, all the law enforcement agencies in Perry County, along with uh, Randolph County, has uh, put a tremendous, tremendous amount of hours, manpower, and money into this case. Um, as you know, Carl Dane was found guilty, or correction, Paulette guilty back in 2011. James Glazier was found guilty in a stipulated bench trial, and Robbie Mueller was found guilty in a stipulated bench trial. Um, <clears throat> Robbie's sentence is set for, I believe, October 25th. Uh, these other two subjects, we believe, uh, had a lot to do with either the aiding agreement or attempted to agree with those three subjects in the death of Sidney Stevens. Really, I don't have anything else I could tell you at this time um, or answer many questions at this time because, again, we still got a lot of lake work to do. Um, and if anybody at the table here would like to say a word or anything, they're more than welcome to. Uh, but that just shows you what law enforcement in this county or this Southern Illinois can do when they all work together. Okay. Could you answer by chance, maybe, if um, these arrests were made because of some of the convictions that have... I cannot go into that, no, definitely. How long has law enforcement been aware of uh, Chet Bennett's involvement? I cannot answer the, the, how long we've been involved, but we just know uh, there was a lot of people involved from day one. Can you answer if Mr. Bennett was involved in the P-Town Saints group? I cannot answer that at this time. What about if there were more arrests that are possible in this case? We do not believe at this time there are any other arrests uh, pending. But then again, something always can come to light that we do not know of at this time. Okay. And 
cannot elaborate on, on what um, provoked these arrests at this time, new evidence or anything like that? Uh, just an ongoing investigation is all I can really comment to this. We hope this puts more closure to the Sydney Stevens family on the death of their uh, loved one. Okay.